Good afternoon. This afternoon I thought I'd tell you the story about the marriage of the mouse. It's a Japanese story. Let's listen to this song. Perhaps you know it already. Do you know that song? I bet you do. Three Blind Mice. It's a very famous song. This afternoon's story is about the marriage of the mouse. A long time ago, there lived a family of mice in Japan. There was a father mouse called Nezumi no Oto-san and Nezumi no Oka-san. And the Nezumi no Oto-san, the dad, was so proud of his daughter that he thought she was the most beautiful mouse in all of Japan. She was just so sweet and pretty that he could not imagine his life at home without her. But as this daughter grew older, her mother sensed, her or Ka-san sensed, that her daughter would soon be time to get married. Or Tor-san was absolutely disbelieving and threw himself on the floor in a rage. After much calm talking from or Ka-san, he reluctantly agreed that their daughter may want to marry, but she would have to have the best husband in the world. Certainly not any ordinary Nezumi next door. We have to find someone very special. We can only give her the most powerful person in Japan, he said. So all three of them got dressed up and set out together on a search for the strongest in Japan. Their first choice was the all-powerful Ohi-sama. Could you say it with me? Ohi-sama. This means the sun. They reached a point on the mountain where they could call out to Ohisama. Ohisama, look at our daughter, she's so beautiful. We wish to give her to you as your bride. Ohisama was happy to be asked, but had to say he was not the most powerful. That would be someone else called Kumo-san. Ohisama would like to shine and shine on the earth, but when Kumo-san comes along, Mr. Ohisama can do nothing at all. You know when the clouds cover the sun and you can't see them, the sun? So the three Nezumi travelled to see Kumo-san. He too was very pleased to be asked to have the little Nezumi mouse bride, but had to say that he too was not the most powerful person. He could be blown apart by the much stronger Kaze-san. Can you see that, Mr. Wind? Off they went to see Kaze-san. Kaze-san was pleased to see the Nezumi family, but also said he was not the most powerful. He could blow and blow, but when he came across Kabe-san, he could do nothing. Can you see who Kabe-san is? There he is, Mr. Kabe-san. Can you see what he might be? The wall. Well, they took their daughter to see Kabe-san and he was kind and comforting but had to say that although he could stand in a strong and square way, when a little mouse or Nezumi nibbles at him, he can do nothing. And so the mouse family had gone all, all this long way only to find that the most powerful and suitable person for their musume, their daughter to marry, was actually a mouse. And their daughter realised that she would indeed be very happy to spend her life with the mouse next door, a very strong mouse, who only just the other day had chewed a hole in the wall of their very own house. Immediately, plans went ahead for a wedding, clothes were made, guests were invited, and a banquet was prepared, and they all had a wonderful day. 
The bride and the groom took good care of Otosan and Okasan Mezumi. They had many children and lived happily ever after. Can you see that mouse wedding there? There they are. So happy. Sayonara. I'll see you in the next lesson.